What's up, guys? Hey, I got uh, some cool finds today at the junkyard. Yeah, it was antique day. Try to go quick. Here's some sweet. Here's a nice pair of barn hinges. A pair of those. Here's some nice uh, barn door rollers. I get good money out of them. Them sell good on eBay. Got some door hardware. Some uh, sad iron stuff. Here's a Croton, New York. I don't know, Street Streeter and Company. But yeah, here's a sad iron. What they do. Oops, let's see. Okay. Heat this on a stove. On a wood burning or coal stove. And you put that down on there. Lock it. And there's how you iron your clothes. And then that was the set. That's a little base to set the iron on. There's another one. Those are pretty cool. Got some nice hooks. Uh, these are... Uh, hold the hay trolleys in the top of the barn got a few of them they're sheep shears there's the other oh, can you see here's the other match to well I guess it ain't quite a match is it it's close this piece I'm not quite sure you know that might have been for can you see? I should have set this at a wide angle. That might have been for holding your, the cooking pots uh, over the fireplace. Not quite sure on that. These are barn door hinges. These are hand forged by a blacksmith. Uh, and they would just drive these right into the beam. And then it would be something like that. These don't match, but those are cool. There's some brackets. I like old brackets like that. Not sure what these tool, this tool is for. It doesn't quite look like a blacksmithing tool, but I don't know. I don't know. There's a nice big hinge. Only one of them. Here's a piece from an old light. I collect old antique lighting. That'll go in my collection. Now here's real old lighting here. That's gas lighting. See the little gas valve there? Somehow the flame would come up out. But yeah, the old houses had pipes run through their house. And if you lived out in the country, they had like a, like a well and they would put, um, I forget the stuff. It was all oh, calcium carbide. <clears throat> they put calcium carbide in water. And when water hits calcium carbide, it turns into a gas. Well, that gas would, you know, like it's a vapor type gas. It would... would flow up through the pipes and out these and they'd light them that was their lights before electricity yeah, there's a there's the other match to that doorknob that's a pretty nice doorknob can you see hinge hinge if you're in the shot or not another hinge another hinge there's another uh, <clears throat> iron holder. That ain't quite for that one. Another nice big hook. That's a oak peg to peg the barn beams together. They would make these out of pin oak trees. They'd bore, and then they'd mortise and tenon all the beams and drill a hole and then pound these in. That was a peg on a uh, post and beam barn there's an old uh, spigot or uh, uh, yeah hook 
thought this was pretty cool. This goes into the old crank brace and bit drill, but it's a it's a a die like tap and die. This is the die. Never seen one of them. You put that in the brace and bit. But that was pretty neat. There's another barn door roller. Here's the track. This track, that's kind of neat. That's a nice short piece. I'm going to use it to display the rollers when I get them. Them set on, and that's how they, but yeah, this track would be as, twice as long as the door that you're rolling. And it mounted up above the door opening. And these rollers would ride on this tracking. I thought that was a nice little short piece to use for displays. Oh yeah, here. Pretty poor shape, bent, but I'm going to straighten them up. It's Ohio heavy duty, heavy, bleh, heavy duty motor oil. HQD. It's Ohio is standard oil. Uh, standard oil of Ohio standard yeah something like that but it's anyway it's Ohio but standard oil and here's another one well this is a national NR company motor oil check that little dude out national products famous since 1882 ENAR company Pern Motor Oil. That one's bent, but I think I can get in there and straighten it. Now there's a surprise inside, I think. I gotta get the can bent to get him out. There's another oil can cork down in there. And I gotta get out. And this one does too. There's another oil can down inside. Okay, keep moving. This tool, I'm not sure, says good luck. And I found this part, and then I found this, and I think that goes together somehow. See how them gears match. There's, wait, what's that say? Patent. Yeah, that's a patent date. I can't read the date. That hooks. Don't point. It might not go together, but I got a feeling. To do. Because hmm. that hook there matches. I don't know. That's a mystery one to me. Ironing clothes, shoes, do something to do with shoes, clothes, food, I don't know. Pretty interesting. There's a spring loaded uh, porch screen door hinge. All right, now the cool one. They're pretty rough shape, but. Can you see those? Oh yeah, I can see the, I can read it better on the camera. Uh, probably blow it out. There you go. 1919 license plate. Look at them old suckers, 99 years old. One that one's different number, same year 1919. That looks like International Harvester logo, but I don't that ain't what that is. Oh, wait, that one says, Is that is that Ohio? Not sure. All right, wait, here we go. All right, this one's 1920. 
1920. Not sure what that logo is. It does kind of look like Ohio. 1919. That's probably that first one. Match. 443246. Yep, these two match. These two don't. They're rough, but. They're 99 and 98 years old. So there's today's scrapyard finds. There was 78 pounds. <laughs> uh, cost me uh, like 14 bucks or something. But I can make my money back. I've, I've sold hinges like these over $100 a pair. These are pretty nice ones. I haven't seen that style before. Uh, there's my tire plugs when I go. Here's my whole tire plugging kit. When I go to the junkyard. Well, if I get a flat or get a screw in my tire. There's the insulator. Alright. There's all the fines. Pretty cool stuff. Now I gotta go organize it and file it away somewhere. See you guys later. Bye.